Welcome to this week's episode of Humans in Five. Congratulations, everyone. We've all just survived one of the most notorious days of the year. Blue Monday. In 2005, psychologist Cliff Arnold concluded that the third Monday of January was the saddest day of the year. This seems like a wild conclusion to draw, but you can kind of see how he got there. Right. The bustle of the holiday season is coming to a close, the days are long, dark, and cold in the Northern Hemisphere, people are starting to fall off the resolution bandwagon, and there are few moments of relief on the horizon. Arnold took all of these factors into account and concluded that things seemed the most dire on the third Monday of January. But as we've said before, this seems like a bit of a long shot. How can we really choose one day as the saddest day of the year? On further investigation, we learn that there might have been other motivations for choosing the third Monday of January as the saddest day of the year. Arnold's research was actually sponsored by a travel company, Sky Travel. Sky Travel were looking for a way to boost midwinter travel sales. So, with a little creativity, they figured that people might be more inclined to plan trips abroad midwinter if they thought it might be good for their health. With some brainstorming and the stamp of a scientist, Sky Travel found a way to make us think mid January might be the best time to escape the challenges of winter. However, this Blue Monday swindle doesn't necessarily mean that the winter blues aren't real. Most people suffered some degree of lower activity levels, less than ideal diets, and fall out of their regular day-to-day -day rhythms due to the cold and dark winter brings. On the more severe end of the spectrum is a very serious and real medical condition known as Seasonal Affective Disorder, or SAD. This psychological condition is suffered by many from fall through to spring. While some people often confuse SAD with the winter blues, SAD is a much more severe diagnosed condition. The line between winter sadness and SAD is often blurry, but if you really feel off during the winter months, it's best to have a chat with a healthcare professional. Coming back to the idea of Blue Monday, the takeaway message today is to be wary of simple, sensationalized media statements, like being able to identify the saddest day of the year. Blue Monday became a bit of a bandwagon for explaining our seasonal sadness and was created not for scientific endeavor, but for the purpose of profit. As we've said before, if a study seems a little too good to be true, it probably is. Stay warm and soldier through this winter, and you can always use our back catalogue to keep yourself entertained as you snuggle up under your blanket this winter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Humans and Vibe. See you then!